Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another story time here on the channel. So, I haven't done one of these. It's been a few weeks now, and I'm trying to keep it at this point where I'm trying to keep up almost with like a very consistent pace of dropping maybe one or two every month, simply because, number one, I don't want the series to lose its appeal to the crowd that actually really enjoys this content, and number two, I don't want to run out of stories way too early, you know? I, I mean, I really only have a finite amount as of right now. Me and my friends are always doing something stupid or hanging out and something happens, so I, I'm sure it'll kind of replenish itself over time, but I'm trying to keep a really good balance to where it's also not overtaking all of my other content as well, so. But uh, this story is going to be about the worst high I ever had, and uh, I know a lot of you have seen my first story about weed that I ever did, which was the first time I ever smoked. A lot of people liked that one. Uh, a lot of people thought that that was pretty funny or whatnot, but um, I'm not one of these people who like smokes every single day. Uh, I go kind of through these little periods where I do it, and uh, then I take a while off before I, you know, start doing it again. So when I first got into smoking pot, or I, I don't even call it pot. I think calling it pot is a really stupid term. I don't understand why people still call it that. But first time I ever smoked weed uh, was pretty awesome. But uh, this story is going to revolve around the second time ever that I smoked. This was after like, oh, I don't know. It was probably three or four months after the first time I smoked. This was probably in like, I don't know, October, late October, early November of 2018. So I went through these periods. Like I smoked for the first time. It was uh, late July of 2018. I smoked from like late October to early December 2018. Then I stopped for like three or four months. I didn't start smoking again until like March of 2019. And then I smoked up until about late April. Then I took the first part of May off and I started smoking again. Again, and recently I just started taking a break again and I, I honestly I don't know if I'll start smoking again I mean I like smoking and everything however I feel like it kind of throws me off of my my work schedule and stuff like I don't like um I don't like trying to make YouTube videos high or streaming high or making music high. I just, I don't like that. I don't know. It throws me off my element. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the story now that I have everything else, I guess, out of the way. So, like I said, this was the second time ever that I had smoked and I kind of knew what to expect because I had done it before, but... I was at this weird point where I didn't know if it was going to be different because there's a lot of different ways a weed high can go. Honestly, I think it just kind of depends on like what you're doing at the time, who you're hanging out with, stuff like that, how you're feeling before and whatnot. But this was just the worst I have ever been. Like It, it was just the worst high I've ever gotten. I, I don't know what the problem was. I don't think it was laced because we bought from this dealer several times and I never had that problem afterwards. Like I I had bought from them several times after this happened, never had this problem once ever again. This is the only bad high I've ever had while smoking smoking marijuana. So, of course the time comes we start smoking and I I definitely increased my quote unquote dosage over the last time that I had smoked. Well, the first time I'd smoked, I mean, we only really, like, for five or six people or whatever, we only had, like, I think three total grams of, of weed that we smoked. But this time we smoked relatively the same amount with only, like, two or three of us. I think three people were there. And, you know, I definitely smoked more than I did my first time, which I don't think that's necessarily what throws it off because, I mean, I've definitely gone over this before. And after I had smoked, you know, a decent amount of pot the first time. So, like, I had gone over this. I, I'd been through this procedure before. I don't really see how that would have done what happened. But, you know, of course, we smoke up all this weed and there isn't really that much left. We just kind of saved it for later in case anyone else wanted, I guess, to continue their little high or whatever. So, we're just sitting there, like, relaxing, just chilling out, okay? Uh, nice couch and stuff, sitting there, just enjoying our time, right? And all of a sudden, like... I had felt some shit that I had just never felt before in my life. Like, the first time I had ever smoked, I got these, like, uh, it, it's, I, it's so hard to explain. It feels almost like somebody is, like, pushing down on, like, your sternum, and then there was one that felt like someone was pushing in on my shoulders, and then, like, on my hips, and then on my knees. It's like wherever my joints were, it just felt like somebody was pressing on them. And it didn't necessarily feel bad the first time, but this time I got that and it was so much more intense. Like it was so, it actually hurt. Like it was just pain. I don't understand, but it actually hurt. Like it was so intense that it was like aching and it just sucked. And at this point, like I was still cooling, right? I was fine. I was just like, oh my God, what's going on? Because like I had never experienced this part of it before and I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know if something bad was going on or what the problem was. But weed doesn't usually put you in pain. If anything, it kind of takes away that pain. So when I felt like this aching feeling 
all over my body, basically. I started freaking out, right? And I think that was probably the worst thing I could have done in that situation, because I think that completely destroyed the entire high for me. So I had all this pain going on, and then, like, mentally, I was just so confused that I kind of started, like, mentally freaking out so i'm not saying anything to anybody else because at this point like we're all starting to get there like we're all high okay and everyone else is like laughing and enjoying it right they're having a great time me who is usually like the loud and rambunctious one and the one laughing the most is sitting here just dead silent feeling this aching feeling in his body and i'm just like I i'm afraid I and i don't want to bring it up to anyone else because like i feel like if i do everyone's gonna look at me like i'm stupid or like i'm a bitch or something because everyone else is cooling right i'm just sitting here you know suffering in silence and it kind of sucked i'm not gonna lie like i'm just sitting here just going through all the possibilities in my head as to what's happening hey am i dying is this laced what's going on, right? And the reason I was really freaking out, okay, and this is what really dawned on me, okay? I live in an area where the heroin epidemic is like, it, it reached its peak, okay? I live like 20 minutes away from the literal heroin capital of the United States. Like, my city and my community has been completely ravaged by heroin. Drug use and crime has skyrocketed since the epidemic kind of started here and whatnot. And I had talked to a few people who had actually gone to the hospital after smoking weed because their dealer had laced it with fentanyl. Now, I don't know if you know what carfentanyl is. It's I think it's like some elephant tranquilizer or something. It's super potent. Literally, like, just a couple little pieces of it on your fingertip is enough to completely sedate you and, like, almost kill you. So I had heard these stories from people who said that their weed was laced with this fentanyl and he, this dude I had talked to actually went to the hospital and they confirmed that the weed was laced with carfentanil. And so I'm just freaking out at this point. I'm like, oh my God, dude. Because I I'd never had smoked weed that had made me feel that way. I'd smoked it once before and I'd never felt like in pain. It wasn't making any sense to me as to what was going on. And then like the high was completely different at this point. Like once I started freaking out, I just started noticing every single minor little detail that was going on around me. And and I don't mean like the positive ones, like my friends all being happy and whatnot. Dude, when I say I was noticing everything, it was horrible. Like we're in my like we're in this basement. It's pitch black. We have like some little LED strip lights on. They're doing like this, they're going through all the colors and stuff that it actually will show. So it's almost like a rainbow effect. And we're playing this really trippy ass beat that's to one of these songs. I think it's a Joey Badass song. I'm not 100 percent sure. But we were listening to this song, man, and the fucking beat, okay, was just freaking me out. And like I said, it's it's pretty much like pitch black. Like if you look into the other sides of the of the basement, there's just like boxes piled up in certain spots and there's like little openings and stuff that go around to the other areas. Dude, it was so creepy. And I just started noticing it. I'm just I'm freaking out because I think I'm going to die. I think that I smoked something laced. I'm looking around, I'm noticing that we're in this dark lit basement there's pretty much no way out if something comes through here dude i just started freaking out but still i'm just sitting there silent okay now at this point you know everyone i notice everyone else like having a good time and i'm still it's like almost confirming me freaking out in a way because at this point it's probably been like 15 minutes since everything started and nobody else is feeling any different or is going through anything i would say is even remotely as bad as what i was so I'm sitting here thinking like, oh my god, I have to go to the hospital or I'm gonna die. And of course, you know, when you're sitting there trying to have a good time and, you know, you're trying to stay high and like have a good time, the last thing you really should be doing is like sitting there freaking yourself out. But that's exactly what I was doing because I was an amateur. And then that's when stuff started getting really trippy. And I mean, I, I, when I've smoked, I've noticed this kind of happens like where uh, time almost seems to like go slow and then fast and then slow. Like, there's periods of time when I'm high where, like, I notice everything going on, I'm extremely aware of my surroundings, I'm, you know, participating in conversations, having a great time, and what feels like five hours is only, like, 35 minutes, okay? But then there's times where, like, I go completely silent, and I, I'm just, like, tripping the fuck out almost. I'm just sitting there thinking of, like, the weirdest stuff, and I, like, start, you know, I, I just start, like, getting weird almost, and then I'll sit there... And the next thing I know, it's like an hour and a half later. And in that hour and a half in my mind, like what I was thinking of, I've, I've like sat there and daydreamed while high before. And I've sat there for like two hours without saying a word, speaking to anybody, anything. And it feels like it was like 45 seconds. 
And it's weird, like, it'll almost, like, alternate between both of these feelings sometimes. It's the weirdest thing, man. And I, I don't know if I'm the only one who deals with this or, like, what's going on with that, but I'm sitting here and I just start daydreaming, okay? And I'm just daydreaming about the weirdest things. Like, at one point, I was just sitting there and I was daydreaming about, like, stuff that happened in, like, fifth grade. Just, like, the worst stuff that's happened in me, to my, in, like, in my life. Just weird stuff. Like, I'm having these flashbacks on saying, like, some dumb stuff at school in, like, sixth grade and, like, everyone laughing or, or, you know, something just completely off the wall. Like, things that I usually think about when I'm trying to go to sleep or, like, when I'm in the shower trying to have a nice time. That's the kind of stuff I usually think about. But this time it's like, hey, you're high. Let's think about this. I just didn't understand, man. And it just... Oh my god, it felt like I was there for like four days just sitting there, man. And the pain started getting worse, and it popped up in more places. At one point, it wasn't only in my sternum, but I could feel it every time I was breathing in my lungs, and I was just like, oh my god, you know, it hurts to breathe. And to this day, I still don't understand what happened. I still don't know what it was. I don't know if I set myself up for this. I don't know if it was laced. I'm just, I still am baffled as to what exactly happened on that day. But I never really told anybody around me what was going on throughout the entire thing, and the high lasted like three and a half hours, pretty much every time I've ever gotten high. It lasts anywhere from like two and a half to three and a half hours most of the time. I, I know some people who they smoke and they stay high for like four or five hours. I don't understand how they can do that, I, I don't know what it is, but I also know people who smoke and they don't even get high anymore, so. Yeah, that was just the worst high I've ever had. That was just it was an awful time, I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I had legitimately thought about never smoking again after that happened, but once I kind of came back to my senses, that was generally after the pain had stopped, I don't know, like, the pain kind of faded away, and then I kind of cleared up mentally, I was like, okay, now I'm not hurting anymore, everything should be fine from this point out, just gonna ride the rest of this out. Needless to say, I've never had this problem ever again, I think I've been able to mentally handle things like this a little bit better now that I've actually gotten some experience, but yeah, when it's the first time going down, you know, I feel like, yeah, you're gonna react a little bit differently than if it's like the 13th time it's happened and you can just be like, oh yeah, I'm used to this kind of happening, you're gonna be okay, just ride it out kind of thing. Overall, like I said, I mean, if it's legal where you're from and you're of age, I do encourage everyone to try it just at least once. I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying, you know, if you're interested in it and you want to know what it feels like and it's legal and whatnot, definitely try it at least once. But, I mean, if you don't want to try it or you don't like it or whatever, like, I'd, I'd never force anybody into smoking. There's been people who don't smoke around this before. I've never, you know, forced a blunt into their mouth or anything. So, that's just kind of how that is, you know. I, I don't know. I know a lot of people just aren't interested in it, and that's completely acceptable. That's fine. I mean, to a certain extent, I think smoking is a little bit overrated, but it definitely has its benefits, at least for me. I understand why a lot of people don't do it. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video, you guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It's a surefire way to get notifications of all my newest content. Join the Discord down below. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. On top of that, channel members get to see these story time videos three hours in advance of everybody else. So, if you love these story time videos, if you love that kind of content, Hey, you support my content and you can get early access to them. You can do so by hitting the join button down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus telling you stories about the times he got high and signing out.